Hey guys, we received the canteen yesterday, and by the way, welcome to Pitfall Lost Expedition. And we can carry some extra healing water. And this tells us how to use it, and I will be demoing it soon enough. Let's get going here. Let's get a move on. What do we got over here? Nothing too dangerous just right now, so let's jump in here. Oh yeah. And then just hold down and see, and it'll slowly fill up your canteen. If you ever need to use it, you just press up on the control pad to bring it out, and you can drink with the up and see. There's monkeys there. I don't want to wake them up. Uh, I don't think I can jump up that ledge. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. Hmm. Look pretty rickety. This could be bad. And we just murdered some howler monkeys. We are the greatest heroes that ever lived. Hey, remember all that, that nice hit detection I was giving you credit for, game? Stop it. Give me the good hit detection. Good lord. Make a liar out of me, will ya? Whee! Huh? Oh, here we go. Here's some natives. Oh, they're running away, though. Chickens. Cowards. Thieving jerks. How dare they? <laughs> the natives never fail to make me laugh. The noises they make, and just how ineffective they are of an enemy. Now, can we go anywhere else? Ooh, there are vines over here. Let's see. Can we go down the way? It looks like there's an idol down there, so let's see if we can get ourselves going. All right. Here we go! Whoa, that was closer than it needed to be. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. There we go. Gotcha. Got ourselves another idol. Nice. So you gotta swing my way back? Ah, screw it. I don't know if you can sink to your death or not. You just press A and you can make your way up, but you can, can't jump. You'd have to find a little beach area like that to get across. So now we get to go run the gauntlet. Assuming there's nothing over this way. Nah, it didn't look that. Doesn't look like it, so let's get moving. Let's see what's out here to kill us. Whee! That didn't work. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, you gotta either jump or roll, depending on what's coming at you. And they stop shooting them at a certain point, because they're cowards and they're just totally afraid of you. Bring it on, guys. Yeah, this is why you gotta do a thing, is they have shields for masks, so they can stop you from hitting them. And hit them twice to knock them out. The first time only knocks them down. Alright, what do we got here? Nothing dangerous right near us. We have... What do we got? Howler monkeys? Yeah. So if you just tilt lightly, you can walk your way up to them. And hit them. But it's really hard to sneak up on a big group like this. They tend to wake up. And it's also really hard to turn and tilt, so... All right, don't know. Oh crap! No, nope, they're not. They're not going quiet. I gotta go. Gotta run. Yeah, I'd love to heal. I'm kind of busy. No, Howler Monkey, get back here, you jerk! This is why they're jerks. They run away and do keep making noise in the meantime. There we go. All right, let's use the canteen since I got my ass kicked. And just like that, you can fill yourself back up. So it's really important to upgrade your canteen in your life. Because you can get jammed like I just did. And these native things aren't fooling anybody. That's a real native. Yeah! Jerky native. How dare you? How dare you attack the fine man that has Pitfall Harry. That as man that is man. Oh, hello. You're too late to the party, my friend. Yeah. Yeah! Destroy! Alright, let's roll underneath. And here we go, so we can... Uh-oh. Whoa! Didn't almost see him. Not that it would have mattered. I mean, I would have been fine, but... That, let's just drink the water needlessly. That's smart. That's smart, Harry. Good work. Good work. And now we're above that pit that was full of howler monkeys. Where is he? Get down there with the howler monkeys and make love to each other. I didn't look. You should really look before you just go running off platforms like I did. That's very not healthy. Yeah! Destroy everything! Actually, I'm, I'm just a jerk. <laughs> I do that as much as I possibly can. And here we go. We got a little... Oh, hello. I must have accidentally skipped it. They close the gate on you, and you can't... Holy God, and then they just sneak attack you like this. And they just continue to do this run around thing. And it helps to roll like a zigzag pattern when you're trying to get near them. It's the best way to avoid them. 
why would you jump in my way? That was just silly beans on your part. Wee! Haha, <laughs> sucker. Yeah, you gotta get really good at dealing with the natives. And they open the gate for you, because you beat up their warriors? I don't understand why they'd open it. You figure they'd just leave it closed, but... Game mechanics being what they are, you need to have a way to the next area. So, you know. You know. You guys know. <laughs> Those guys are just great. They continually crack me up. I almost fell in that pit. That would have been pretty brilliant. Well, we, we're going to have to follow him, but I think we can explore around here and find some stuff. Like, for instance, a that. That's useful. I think almost every area has one of those. And here's an area to mark. To the Battered Bridge. Well, we get the torch pretty early, so we can deal with a lot of these torch areas at some point soon. It can be a lot of goodness. Alright, what do we got here? Anything up here? Mm, oh, there's a vine right there. Uh, let's try the vine swing here and see what we can find. I like how they tell you now how to do that, when you've already had a chance to do it with a few other areas where you can get items. Alright, what do we got here? Alright, use the C stick and you can throw switches, and that'll cause stuff to happen. In this case... Oh god, it's the Ginyu Force. Look out. Anyway, let's see if we can keep swinging along the vines here. I'm assuming there's more climbing to be done by vines. Let's see if we can get it done. Yeah! Nice. Not gonna lie, that's pretty good. So it looks like we gotta land ourselves on this. That was not as easy as it looked. <laughs> Alright, there's a shaman up top, so... Is anything in here worth collecting? Probably not, but let's just bust everything because we're jackasses. And the bigger question is, why do they have pots sitting right there? Submit your answers uh, to Jesus, care of the Pentagon, and we'll figure it all out. Anyway, wait, wait, wait. Thank you, Harry. Jeez. Gotta hit that guy right in the fios and teach him a lesson. So we get more, yeah, we can get extra health again, or canteen. See, the extra health is now up to four instead of two. We're at seven. We could get the native notes, I suppose. The notes are really nice to have, as are these big moves here. There's a lot of stuff and a lot of, a lot of stuff to find, a lot of stuff to buy. Uh, let's do the canteen. Canteen's cheap, and it allows us to refill, just un un not on the fly sometimes, and that's the problem. Alright, so what do we got in here now? Nothing, really. And I love the music. And that area down there is dangerous. I'm actually going to go down there for a second, see if I can look at that. There we go. You need heroic, da heroic dashes needed to cross these coals. Yes, it is. I wonder if I touch... Yeah, if I touch it, I'll get hurt. So I don't need to waste the life needlessly. Come on, guys. Come get me. Come get me. Hi, guys. <laughs> Alright, let's go get him. Oh, why are you coming over here, you goof? That makes it easier for me. Oh. There we go. You have pretty good range in your attacks. And I guess I could have technically ignored them, but it's best... It's best to take out enemies rather than ignore them, because if you get caught up by enemies further down the way, you can get teamed up on pretty bad. And we are now stuck in this place. That's kind of bad. Hello, ho Howler Monkey. I'm actually going to go around the tree and see if there's any more Howler Monkeys to murder, because we want to murder as many Howler Monkeys as we possibly can. Is there anything to this? Nah, it's just water. Alright, Howler Monkeys, where are you? I don't want you guys being a pain if I fall off this tree. Yeah, that's right, you ain't gonna howl for crap. Yeah, stupid jerk, that's right. I love beating my monkeys. Wait, what? That's not very nice. And if you want to listen for them in the air, you just listen for snoring. You can hear them sometimes. And we're going to have to climb up this big old Deku tree here. It's not a Deku tree. What am I talking about? Making stuff up. All right, we got a vine right there. Get out of here. Oh, I just booted him into that water thing. Oh, right, this area fills up as you go, so if you fall, you don't have to do the full climb back up. It's nice, very nice in that regard. Get lost. Alright, gotta go to that one, I guess. Oop. Yeah, we do. Alright, we gotta swing over to there next. The whole a lot of the game is is just based on this type of platforming, and it's it's pretty decent 3D platforming. It's not the best I've ever played, but it is pretty solid. 
And they do think up some pretty unique areas to screw around in, so it does have that going for it. Alright, I probably gotta go over there. Is there anything around me that I can else I can go to? Doesn't look like it. That kinda looks like something I don't want to talk about, because it, you know, it's not what I like to do. Alright, do it. Can I must be able to get up there. Whee! -hee. Oh, get out of here. No one likes you. Alright. Now, I didn't fill up my other new canteen junk, so let's do that. Alright, we probably have to go the other way. Yeah, we probably gotta go the other way now. Nah, <laughs> sucker. You think the monkeys will wake up when their buddies are... Oh, he's gonna drown. I just, I just murdered that howler monkey. <laughs> that makes me the greatest hero ever. Murdering animals for no good reason. Excellent. And the higher up in the vine, the less momentum you can get. That's another problem. You want to be low for full mo. Low for full mo. Just remember that, boys and girls. Whoa. There's a howler monkey across the way. I thought so. Get out of my way. All right. So, next up we want to go here. Yeah. Let's just keep climbing. I don't think there's any idols I have to worry about right now. Whoa. Water just kind of caught up to my feet there at the last second. Not that it really... Oh, get up there. Is there more up the tree? Because I think I... There's a branch there and a branch there. Does that lead anywhere? Anything I can see up here? Not seeing anything. I don't think I can keep climbing, but let's check. There is one there. But it doesn't seem to lead anywhere. And that doesn't seem to lead anywhere. So the answer to that is... Oh, I see. I gotta come back here later and with a slingshot and hit that. That's a target to hit with a slingshot. That's one of the weapons you get in the game. All right, let's get our let's get our butts in the so-called gear. No, don't fall off there. It is a little slidey sometimes, but they are usually generous overall on the hit detection. Let's go to the statues of Ire. And I ain't talking about the Protoss, okay? That's that's a whole other jungle world entirely. I wonder if they stole that from other jungle thing. Anyway, cutscene. No need for thanks. Oh, part of the job. You can talk. Some jags have what it takes, others don't. You mean vocal cords? Not vocal cords, magic. Why, well, isn't it apparent that I'm one of those super courageous jaguars who defend the weak, who protect the innocent, and who a very powerful wise sorcerer would therefore bless with the power of speech? Huh, that snake? It was dead. Huh? And you knew it. Oh, no. Dead snakes are the most dangerous kind. You're walking down a path. You find a dead snake. You pick it up to study it. You slip on a rotting mango. You fly onto your back as the snake goes airborne. And there you are, helpless on the ground, when coming down through the air towards you is the dead snake. It's beady dead eyes fixed on you. It's dead mouth wide open. And it's dead fangs about to plunge right into your neck. Luckily for you, the bravest cat in the jungle just saved your life. Now that was one crazy-ass jaguar. Anyway, guys, I think that's a good spot to stop, so join us next time when we'll continue onwards and see what horrible, horrible dangers await us. And that snake is a dead old snake. I don't like it one little bit. Join us then, won't you? <laughs>